I am your oldest sister, and you are my baby sister. This is my husband, John. Hi! Who I believe you have met several times before. I would like to point out, first of all, that I do not like being on this end of the camera. It is incorrect. However, for you, I will do this. So let me tell you a story from when we were little. Uh, well, you were. I was 10, and I was walking down the stairs, and I had you on my hip, and the front door opened, our babysitter came in, and I promptly slipped and fell. But I curled myself around you, and you were not hurt, because it is a big sister's job to protect a little sister. So in that vein, I decided to go through my fifth decade before you to make sure that it is in fact a survivable encounter, and it is. I would say it is even an enjoyable decade, so I think you should look forward to this next decade of your life. I've just started the sixth, so I can't report back on it yet, but I believe it will also be enjoyable. And say hello to the dog, that's Lido. We would like to sing you a song. Ready? Ready. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sheila. Happy birthday to you. And many more. In the summer of 1968, my neighbor, Pamela Jones, spilled the beans to me that I was going to be a big sister. I was so excited. I ran into the house to ask my mother, is it true? And she said, yes, Eileen, it's true. Now, why was my mom so reticent to tell me that we were gonna have a baby? Well, perhaps it was because at six years old, this was so exciting to me that every day for approximately seven months, I would ask her, is the baby coming? When's the baby coming? Is the baby coming? I was so excited the anticipation nearly killed me. But then Sheila was born and I was instantly in love with her. After I got over the fact that she was maybe a little redder as a baby than I anticipated, but after that, totally in love. And from that moment on, she has brought to my life such joy. The joy of teaching her that Bert and Ernie is in fact three words, not one. The fact that when you have a headache, it doesn't present itself in your stomach. The fact that Fairfield University is a super fun place, but you know, maybe I taught her that lesson a little earlier than, than I should have. And even though Sheila has grown into a very competent, beautiful woman, I still feel that she is my little baby sister. And even though she can make asparagus better than I can, according to all of my children, I still will always have that feeling of anticipation and excitement whenever I get to see her. Because, Sheila, I totally love you, and I always will. You know, you lost the pig. At the very beginning, we shared a room. The baby and the nine-year-old sister. And that was fine, and then we grew up a little bit. And then, you, while I was a teenager, wanted to put Miss Piggy on the wall. So, you know, the pig thing should really be about you. And then you went and lost the pig. And that had to be all a substitute pig, and now the kids have to have the dancing flower instead. And anyway, I'm supposed to share memories, and so that's one of them. And you know, the sharing a room until we moved when you were still very little. Um, though I think we shared a room again when we came back from Japan. And we went to Japan, and I'm sure other people will mention how old. Japanese men and women who are supposed to be absolutely honored got up so this little blonde girl who was oh so cute could sit down and and I remember Billy Joel speaking at your graduation and I'm sure things happened in between. Oh there was something about Mary's children and people speaking Spanish and like her all over the table where you had your graduation party that we went to and I don't know there's a lot of memories you see and I don't know which one I'm supposed to say, except that I'm really happy about where you are right now in your life. And I care a lot about that. And so I hope your birthday is as much fun and the next 50 years are as much fun because, you know, you're going to outlive us all. Happy birthday, Sheila. It's your brother, your single brother, saying happy birthday to you. Claire asked us all to say sweet words about you. And I've been thinking about when you were a small girl and would come in and try to put on a show and your obnoxious older siblings would 
make fun of you, and yet you persevered and turned into like a great performer. And I also, of course, I'm thinking about the sumo wrestling, for which I apologize several years later. But the most amazing thing to me is how you grow first into a really confident, strong woman. I remember when you moved to Hoboken when I was living there, and you just seemed so with it and mature. And and more importantly, you're such an incredible mother to all your children. I just can't tell you how much I admire that. And such a great daughter to both our parents and a sister to all of us. You're wise, you're funny, you're witty, you're a terrific person, and I wish you all the best and all my love on your birthday. Sweetie, happy birthday. Sheila, just wanted to wish you a super fantastic, fabulous, fun 50th birthday. Uh, this is going to be a great year, and I hope to spend a lot of time with you this year. We've talked about a lot of great things, uh, places we'd like to go, and breaks we'd like to take for this year, and I hope we get around to them. And because a better person doesn't deserve what you have done for everyone in your life and how much you've loved me and cared for me and how loyal you are as a friend. I love you. Bye. Happy birthday, Sheila. Here is my video. Um, as you know, I typically prefer to lip sync my videos at 2 a.m. Um, but this celebration calls for a talking video, so here I go. Um, I can't believe it's been more than 30 years ago that we met because in so many ways it still feels like yesterday to me. We clicked as friends instantly when we met at orientation and we spent the better part of our college years laughing together and making memories as roommates and friends. Um, our shared sense of humor and of what we consider to be important in life, I think, is what has made our friendship even stronger through the years. It's such a comfort and a blessing to go through life with you as a friend because I know you always have my best interests at heart. I'm excited to celebrate our birthday milestones this year together and I look forward to more laughter, love, and friendship for many years to come. You are a natural woman. You are every woman and I love you very much. You are truly one of a kind. Happy birthday, Sheila. Enjoy your celebration. This is a happy birthday video for Sheila. Um, I'm doing it in the car because we have had some of our best chats in the car because you know I hate to drive and you are a very good driver, albeit a fast driver. Um, but you're very generous with driving me around and you're very generous with lots of things, with your wisdom and your humor and your love. And one of my best friends for a long, long time and I look forward to so many more happy, fun, deep moments with you. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Hi, my name is Mary Zabrinski and I am sending a 50th birthday wish to my dear friend, Sheila. And I've known her for 30 years, met her at Fairfield University, and I would say her best quality is her loyalty. She is a true friend to thick and thin. And I know I can count on her for everything. Happy birthday, Square of Life, from the great state of Vermont. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sheila. Happy birthday to you. This is Kristen and Peyton Rowan, and we know Sheila, or I know Sheila from college, we live together. And Sheila is just one of the most wonderful people in the world. She's an incredible friend, very loyal and supportive, and she's always been there. And we're very happy to wish her a big, big happy birthday. Okay. Happy birthday, Sheila. Love you. Bye. Bye. Hi, Sheila. Happy birthday. I just want to say I love you and thank you for welcoming me to the Smith clan and for wearing pink cowgirl boots to our hoedown. Cheers. What are you saying?
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Happy birthday, <laughs> birthday. Aunt Sheila. Happy birthday to you. We love you. We love you. <laughs> Can you blow kiss? <laughs> Bigger one. A... <clears throat> oh, good job. Yeah, bigger one. Okay, they love you. I love you. Happy birthday, Aunt Sheila. A happy 50th birthday from your nephew, John, down here in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, we love you. I miss you. Uh, I hope your birthday is absolutely phenomenal and that you get to see all of your friends and loved ones and that 50 is everything that you dreamed it could be. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Sheila. Sheila. So we're the Morris family, Megan, Pat, Pat Michaela, Pat and Martin. Caroline, who's, who's in sleeping? bed. Uh, we know you because you're our Aunt Sheila. Yeah. And we love you so much for your sense of humor, <laughs> sarcastic as it is, uh, your allergy to being tickled, and tendency to kick people when it happens. <laughs> and your great big heart. We love you and we wish you a happy birthday. We Have a good you. time. Bye. 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 Happy birthday. Hey guys, this is Elliot. I've known Sheila for about 25 years uh, as my stepmother and as a, a great friend. I would have to say that my favorite thing about Sheila is her willingness to bust out a tune anytime, anywhere, especially in the car and always on the high harmonies. Uh, and also her capacity as a mother. Uh, it's been awesome to watch. Uh, she's firm but fair. She's full of love. She is a great person to listen to and to give advice and I'm so happy that she's in my life as one of the best friends I've ever had. Love you Sheila. Happy birthday. Happy birthday Sheila. I'm Claire. I've known Sheila since I was a little girl. She helped raise me and all of my beautiful siblings. Uh, my favorite thing about Sheila is her sense of humor. She finds the most amazing things to laugh about and can make any situation fun. And also her infinite uh, well of love that she has provided to this family. I love you so much and happy birthday. Hi, I'm Tom and Sheila is the mother of my six beautiful kids. What I love most about Sheila is all the love she gives and the amazing things that she does for our family. Happy birthday, Sheila. Okay, how do I know Sheila Smith? What a good question. I know Sheila Smith because for the past 16 years, she has been the best mother a girl could ask for. Mom, I love you. And why do I love you? What another good question. I love you because I love waking up at 5 a.m., driving hours and hours to tournaments, and then stopping a Wawa so I can eat my heart's desire worth of Flamin' Hot Cheetos. I love you because we both love sushi. I love you because no matter how many times we've seen a Hallmark movie, you're always down to watch it again. I love you because you hate country, even though it's definitely the best type of music. And most of all, I love you because I couldn't ask for a better mother. I love you, Mama. Happy birthday. So who is Sheila to me? Sheila is my mom, and she's one of my favorite people on the planet. Uh, she's always been there for me. We've had some really interesting, heartfelt conversations. We've also had some absolutely ridiculous times on Wednesday nights, uh, at dinner with everyone. Um, she's just always there when you need her. Uh, she gives great hugs, great advice. She can get you to laugh or to smile when you don't want to. Um, yeah, and you know, we've had some really wild car rides going to and from competitions or colleges or various things and she's just really fun and easy to talk to um, so I love you mom and happy 50th. I've known Sheila for about 21 years. She's been the most amazing roommate, fan, friend, supporter, everything I could possibly want a mom. She's always been there for me. I love you so much mom. I hope you have the best birthday alive. And please, please never lose your mean, dark sarcasm that I love so much. So, a very happy birthday, happy 50th birthday to my dear daughter. It's a golden birthday, and I hope a golden year for you as well. So many memories. 
You've always been a take charge person from reorganizing clothes racks at Sears when you were a preschooler to setting up an orientation for transfer students at Fairfield because there was none for you when you transferred in the middle of your freshman year. But the most important memory I cherish are your thoughtfulness, your caring, and your love. And I'm here, Mom, if you need me. So a very happy 50th, or to remind you of Japan, of Japan Otanjobi, Omadeto, Ozaibas, and an Irish blessing. With the first light of the sun, bless you. When the long day is done, bless you. In your smiles and your tears, bless you. Through each day of your years, bless you. Love you, honey.